friends, this is Zach Uak and my most comprehensive guide about collision detection in Love 2D and Lua. In my last video, we learned about the collision detection type point circle. And if you haven't watched it, then I recommend you to spend 10 minutes on watching it because today's video is going to be very similar and use the same concept. Okay, first let's imagine that we have two sprites, both in the shape of a circle. They can neither be different in size or the same. Something like this. When we're detecting collision, we have to count the radius of both circles, not only one. As I mentioned, in my last video, we learned about the collision detection type point to circle. And we used the Pythagorean theorem and counted the radius of the circle and the position of the dot. Now, the task is very similar, but a little more complex, since we have two circles and two radii. Okay, enough talking. Let's start building our demo. We'll start with two circles, and we'll make them move and make them change their radii. Instead of building everything from scratch, I'm going to open the demo from my last video for the collision detection point to circle. This is why I recommend you to watch it first before you follow up on this guide. So here, as you see, we have the circle and the point. Let's change our point to be a circle and be able to change its radius. Here, I want to show you one cool feature in Zero Brain Studio. If you need to find a text or variable or any expression and replace it, you can click here on the menu bar, Find and Replace Text button. Then just type what you want to find here and what you want it to be replaced with here. In my case, I'm replacing point to, let's call it circle two. Voila! And everything is fixed with just one click. Let's check that our program still works well. Yep, all good. You see how easy it is comparing to looking for all the instances and replacing them manually? Now let's make it be able to change the radius if our two keys on our keyboard are pressed at the same time. Oh, let's make this line a color other than our circle. Okay, now let's look at what we have. We should detect collision here, right? So once our circles are touching each other and as long as they have an intersection, collision should be detected. What does it mean for math and geometry? It simply means that as long as the radius of circle one and the radius of the, of the circle two is less than the distance between their centers, then collision should be detected. As you remember, we used the Pythagorean theorem to calculate it in my previous video, so it still works perfectly for this case. Because the distance between the circle centers is still our hypotenuse, the, on the only one small change that we need is to add a second radius to our function as an argument. Easy peasy, right? So now whenever you have sprites with shapes that are close to the circle shape, and I believe there are many sprites like this, you can use this algorithm. Okay friends, that's it. Now you have one more collision detection type to add to your knowledge. The next one will be soon and more complex. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and hit the like button for more videos. Bye!